want one of these? Got one, okay. Shabbat Shalom. So if you don't yet have a prayer card, we're going to use these. We find them easier for our kids at this service, our junior congregation, than managing the big prayer book. You might like it too, but don't do this with it. It's a really annoying sound. <laughs> Everybody know Phil Angel, our song leader extraordinaire? Hello. And our Marvy youth group advisor. Marvy's having a Hanukkah party here tomorrow night. It's going to be fun, right, tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's begin. Yeah. So it's Hanukkah, let's sing some Hanukkah songs. Oh Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the hora. Gather round the table, we'll give you a treat. Sivivon to play with and latkes to eat. And while we are playing, the candles are burning low. Come on. One, One for each night they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. One for each night they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. You know how it sounds. Oh Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the hora. Gather round the table, we'll give you a treat. Sippy fun to play with and latkes to eat. And while we are playing, the candles are burning low. One for each night we shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. One for each night they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. Sivivan so 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 Hanukkah hu Hanukkah hu chag tov, sivivon, so so so. Chag simcha hu la'am, nes gadol haya sham, nes gadol haya sham. Chag simcha hu la'am, sivivon, so so so. Hanukkah hu chag tov, Hanukkah hu chag tov, sivivon, so so so. Chag simcha hu la'am, nes gadol. Hayasham, Neskado Hayasham, Chag Simcha Hula. So let's not play on the bima. We can dance. We can dance down here. It's fine, but not up there. You're getting Leah. Okay. Do you want to go into Barthu now? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do Barthu? No insurance or anything? No, we're good. We're good. We're huh? Good. You want to do Barthu? You start with something else. No, we're going to go to Baruch Hu, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So let's rise to the Baruch Hu, the call to worship. Now, at our, for those that haven't been to junior congregation before, we use some different melodies here. It's going to sound a little bit like last Friday night, because some of the melodies we use are camp melodies. We find the kids like it. Hopefully you will, too. Yai, lai, ya, la, lai, yai, lai, ya, lai, ya, la, lai.
One of the things that happens at Hanukkah and one of the reasons why this holiday comes at this time of year is it's a holiday of light at the time of the year that it is darkest. You think about that? It's so dark out. When you wake up in the morning, is the sun out yet? No, and when you come home from school, the sun already is going down. I mean, it's getting a little better, but it's been pretty dark lately. And so Hanukkah comes to bring light to the world, to give us brightness at, a, at the darkest times. But there's a prayer for evening, too. It's Ma'ariv Aravim, and we have a melody to it called Roll Into Darkness that we're going to do with Phil. <coughs> Roll into dark, roll into light. Night becomes day, day turns to night. Roll into dark, roll into light. Night becomes day, day turns to right. Bore, bore, yom v'layla. Golel or mi pne choshech. Golel or mi pne choshech. Roll into dark, roll into light. Night becomes day, day turns to night. Roll into dark, roll into light. Night becomes day, day turns to night. Bore yom v'layla. Olel or me pne choshech, Olel or me pne choshech, the choshech me pne or. The top of page one in the middle column, Ahavat Olam. Ahavat Olam, Beit Yisrael, Am Tam. Toral mitzvot to kimu mishpatim, O tanu limadita. Al ken adunah eloheinu, v'shoveinu ufiumeinu, nasiach bechukecha, v'nizmach v'divrei toratecha, u'vemitzvotecha. Leolam, leolam, bae. Kihem hayenu, veorech yamenu, ubahem nehe yomam velaila. Leavate hal tasirmi menu, leolamim. Baruch ata adonai, o heb hamo Yisrael. Shema? Yeah. Please rise for the Shema. No, we don't rise for the Shema. No, we don't no, rise for the Shema. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai, Adonai Echad. Yalalai, 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 Yalalai. Yai-la-la-yai-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la
You shall teach, teach your children to love, to love and to know what is right. Ya la la, one more time. Ya la la, ya la la la, ya la 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 la. Ya la la, ya la 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 la. Ya la la, ya la la la, ya la 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 la. Ya la la, ya la 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 la. So at the bottom of that middle page is the Vea Hafta. What's the Vea Hafta talk about? What are some of the things that we'd find in the Vea Hafta? What does it command us to do? Just saying about it. What's the Vea Hafta command us to do? Does it command us to eat bagels and locks? No. Does it command us to light Shabbat candles? What does it command us to do? Judah. All right, so it commands us to, to love our neighbor and to love God and to place the words of the Shema on our arms and on our eyes, or between our eyes, with uh, tefillin, right? What else? Do you have something on your home, or maybe on your door, that comes from the Vea Hafta? The mezuzah, right. Mezuzah, thank you, Jonah. So the Vea Hafta is a prayer that we actually live, we do. You can think about the things in the Vea Hafta. There are so many things that we do that are in this prayer that we do all the time. So let's chant it together, the bottom of page one. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol avavcha u'bechol nafshecha u'bechol me'odecha Ve'hayu ha'divarim ha'ele Asher anochi metzavecha Hayom alvavecha Veshinantam levanecha Fribart habam Veshibtecha v'vetecha Ubletechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabaderechabader
Lechaim. Save us for the sake of your name. Save us for the sake of your name. Thank Shield you us. Shield us from hatred, sorrow, and pain. Hashkivenu Adonai. Eloheinu l'shalom. Behamidenu malkeinu. A couple more times. What do you do in your home to make Shabbat special? I'm really curious to know. How do you celebrate Shabbat in your home? Who can give me an example of something you do? What do you guys do for Shabbat? What do you guys do? We have challah. Homemade challah? <laughs> Not so much. What do you guys do? You turn your phone off. Excellent, Joel. Who else? What else do you do for Shabbat? Yes. You sing the prayers? Very nice. Judah, what do you do? You eat and then you come with me to synagogue. Yes. Tova, what do you do? Oh, have your grandparents over for dinner. That's very special. What do you guys do? You turn off all your electronics. That's lovely. That's terrific. See, we can make Shabbat in so many different ways. The whole idea about Shabbat is to make it special, to do something on Shabbat or not do something on Shabbat that we've been doing all week or we haven't been doing all week. And when we do that, we shamor v'zachor, we protect and we guard Shabbat. And there is a prayer about that. It's right here in the middle of our card. Visham, or the bottom of our card, Vishamru. Bottom of page one. Yeah, sorry, it doesn't have the same gravitas because I broke a string. <laughs> Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat L'asot et ha-shabbat L'dorot ha-berit olam they <laughs> Asadonai et hashemayim ve'et ha'aretz v'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha'shabat l'asot et ha'shabat l'dor tam berit olam u'vayom hashvi shabat v'inafash Shabbat v'inafash, Shabbat v'inafash, v'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat, l'asot et ha-Shabbat l'dor tam berit olam. So we'll turn the card over and we rise now for the Amidah, our conversation with God. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohe avotenu mimotenu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Leah Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Hanora Elyon Gomel Hasadim Tovim Bukane Hakol V'zocher ha-se'avot v'yimahot U'mevi g'ula l'ivnei v'neihem L'ma'an sh'mo b'ahava M'elech ozer u'moshia u'magin Baruch ata Adonai Magin Avraham v'ezrat sara Ata gibor le'olam Adonai M'chei metim ata rab v'choshia 
Mashiv Haruach Morid Hagashem, Mechalkel Haim Bechesed, Mechaye Meitim Berachamim Rabim, Tomech Noflim Berofe Holim, Matir Asurim, U Mechaye Memunato, Lishene Afar, Micha Mochab Al Givurot, U Mido Melar, Melech me mi tu me chaye, u mat mi ach yeshua, pneman atal chayot me ti, baruch atadonai, me chaye ha me ti. Ata kadosh v'shim ha kadosh, ukdoshim v'cho yom yavalu chasela, baruch atadonai, ha el ha kadosh. Take a moment for your own private prayer. And when your prayer is concluded, you may be seated. Say shalom bim Roma, who ya say shalom aleinu. O say shalom bim Roma, who ya say shalom aleinu. O say shalom bim Roma, who ya say shalom aleinu. Ya say shalom. Ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael. O se shalom, o se shalom bim Roma, hu ya se shalom aleinu. O se shalom bim Roma, who ya se shalom aleinu. O se shalom bim Roma, who ya se shalom aleinu. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve al kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom. Ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'alko Yisrael. So we want to take a moment before we tell a story and conclude our service and say Kaddish to think of those that are sick and in need of healing. Those maybe that have been in the hospital or have been homesick or maybe are recovering from something that happened. Maybe friends we have that injured themselves playing in sports or on the playground or family members who are sick and hopefully are recovering and feeling the strength that we can give them by visiting them and caring for them. So if you have somebody that you're thinking of right now that's in need of a prayer for healing, the strength of a community all thinking of them and for their recovery and their well-being, if you can share their names now, we'll join together in a Misha Barak, a prayer for healing. So if you have someone you're thinking of, please call their names out. So the Misha Barak's in the box on that page two down on the left-hand side. And let's fill in this prayer for healing. Misha Barak Avoteinu Mekor Habracha
For a story? Yeah. Okay. This is, this is one of my favorite Hanukkah stories, and it happens to be a true story. It's a true story. So there was a girl about your age, and I'm going to use that generally as all of your ages. There was a young girl about your age, her name was Rebecca. And she grew up in a very Jewish part of the world called Brooklyn. And in Brooklyn, it seemed like everybody. Everybody was Jewish, or Puerto Rican. Jewish or Puerto Rican. <laughs> and so when Rebecca was growing up in Brooklyn, and it was Hanukkah time, she would walk around her neighborhood, and there would be Hanukkiot, there would be menorahs in every window all around, so much that you wouldn't even need street lamps. There was so much light being cast down from the windows onto the street. And in Brooklyn, most people live in apartments, so there would be menorah after menorah, Hanukkiah after Hanukkiah, high, high up into the air. Well, Rebecca's family moved from Brooklyn. And they moved to a town in Nebraska. They moved to a town in Nebraska where there were no high-rise buildings, there were no apartments, and as far as Rebecca knew, there were no Jews. In fact, when Hanukkah time came, Rebecca went to put her Hanukkah in the window, and she put it in the window like she always did, and she looked out, and there, was no other, there were no other lights anywhere up and down her street. And Rebecca got very sad because she liked having her light be matched by other lights around the street. And she didn't think that anybody saw her Hanukkah or even cared. In fact, in school, nobody was talking about Hanukkah. Nobody seemed to know what was even happening. They had to send to the in Brooklyn just to, get, just to get candles for their Hanukkah. She went to school the next day, and nobody mentioned her Hanukkah. Nobody said how beautiful it was. They were all talking about it other things going on, and nobody mentioned hers except for one boy, and his name was Brian. And Brian said, my father's the fire marshal. <laughs> Do you have to put those lights in your window? It's a fire hazard. And Rebecca said, yes, it's very important. You have to put the lights in your window so that everybody can see them. He said, okay. And the next day, Rebecca put the lights in her window again, and still there were nobody putting any other lights in their windows, and nobody seemed to notice it. Rebecca got very sad, and she turned to her parents. She said, you know, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable putting our Hanukkah on the window. I just don't feel like it's what everybody else is comfortable or wants. I think we should put it in the kitchen. And her parents said, are you sure, Rebecca? We know you love Hanukkah and having it in the window. No, I think we should put it in the kitchen. Her parents said, well, let's keep it in the window one more night. You never know. The next day, Rebecca went to school, and Brian came up to her again. He said, I put that in the window again, and all those lights, and this time there were more. Are you going to put a light in the window every night? And she said, yes, I am. It's Hanukkah. And you put a different light in the window every night, and we go one candle for each night, and there are eight candles plus one big candle, the Shamas candle. And Brian said, uh-huh. And the next day, Rebecca's father said, Rebecca, do you want to put the Hanukkah in the kitchen? She said, no. We're going to keep it in the window so that everybody can see it. And she did on that night, and on the next night, and on the next night. And on the sixth night of Hanukkah, Brian came up to her again in school the next day and says, is it necessary, is it really necessary to light all of those candles? And you're lighting that one candle, that tall candle with all the others, do you have to do it that way? Is that how you have to do it? And Rebecca said, yes. That's the Shamus candle, and we use that to light all the other candles. That's how you have to do it. And Rebecca went back home that night, and she put her Hanukkah in the window and proudly started to light her candles. And as she looked out in the reflection of her window, across the street, she saw the reflection of her Hanukkah in the window across the street. 
But then she looked more closely, and that Hanukkiah had different candles. And the one across the street was being lit differently than she was lighting hers. They were lighting it faster than she was lighting hers. She was only lit, had lit only the fourth candle. They had already lit the fifth and the sixth candle. And Rebecca went outside. And she saw that it wasn't the reflection of her Hanukkah. It was a whole other Hanukkah. She said, I found the Jews in Nebraska. And she went over and knocked on the door to see who her Jewish neighbors were. And who do you think came to the door? Brian. Brian came to the door and said, we didn't know how to light it. But when we saw how you were doing it, we knew how to light ours. And that's how the light of Hanukkah continued to be a light that connects Jews and people through religious and religious freedom all around the world, even in Nebraska. The end. True story. Let's rise for Elenu, because I hear the own egg is going. Elenu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol ha'teit k'dola l'yotze b'reshit sh'lo asana k'goye ha'aratzot v'lo ho'samanu k'mishpachot ha'adama Shelo sam chelkenu kahem, megohor aleinu kechol hamonam. Vanachnu korim, umishachavim umodim, lifnei melech malche hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Shehu notei shamayim veyose laaretz, umoshe vikaro vashamayim imal, ukshinatu zo, ukshinatu zo. Vegave meromim, hu Eloheinu einod, emet mokeinu efezulato, kakatu betorato, v'yadat hayom, v'yadat hayom, v'chashevota, elevavecha, ki Adonai hu ha-Elohim, b'ashamayim imal, v'yal haaretz, v'yal haaretz, Please be seated. So before we head off to our own egg, let's take a moment to remember loved ones who are not here. Some of us who came tonight didn't just come for Hanukkah and latkes, but they came to remember people that had died that are very special to them, that died recently or died at this time in years past. And we want to be here to support them as they remember their loved ones. The names of some of those people are lit, are lit up on the memorial board, on the Yorkside board here in our room. We turn the light, the candle on, on the anniversary of their death every single year so that we can remember them for blessing. So on this Shabbat, remember those who died during this past month, Diane Ozer and Jimmy White. Read the name of your loved one who died at this time in years past, if you could rise, so we can join with you in saying Kaddish. Model Babbins, Donald Becker, Stephen Bekel, Faye Bilogas, Nicholas Verzikzeller, Alex Billenkoff, Helen Brickman, Eva Brooks, Lillian Brown, Jamie Citronbaum, Frederica de Verais Vaz Diaz, Sidney Ebschutz, Judy Firestone, Shirley Fishman, Lily Frinton, Phyllis May Gallen, Hinoch Garfield, Hyman Gorin, Samuel George Gordon, Zivia Hendel, Basil Enriquez, Saul Hoffman, Isaac Jacobson, Sandy Califf, Princess Cantor, Max Karp, Shirley Klein Karsh, Alice Knott, Mark Cohn, Helen Moskowitz, Nancy Phyllis Muddinger, Peter Oberlander, Malka Pudovic, David Rabinovich, Mo Roberts, Lois Rudin, Samuel Siegel, Mary Schaefer, Fanny Sheftel, Lou Skuklo, Morris Slate, Molly Sudak, Rivka Steinbach, Eduardo Tesler Mabe, Irvin Weinstein, Edward Wallach, Abraham Zelkovitz.
There are others who've come to say, Kaddish, remember loved ones, that you could rise and share their So we look around the room, we see all those that have stood in mourning. We don't want them to stand alone. We can comfort them just by standing next to them sometimes. So let's stand up, providing the comfort of just being next to them and near them. <coughs> we join together in the mourners' cause. We remember all those who've died in defense of freedom and justice, those victims of terror in this land, in the land of Israel, around the world, and those who died in the Shoah and the Holocaust, but have no one to remember them. <coughs> Page two on the left-hand side. Yit Gadal, Yit Kedash, Shemei Rabbah, V'yomad, Yivrach, Yerute, V'yamlich, Malchute, V'chayechon, V'yomechon, U'paye, L'chol Beit Yisrael, V'agalau, V'zman Kari, V'maru, Amen. Yehei, Shmei Rabbah, M'varach, L'olam, U'lamei, Almaya, Yitbarach, V'yishtabach, V'yitpa'ar, V'yitroman, V'yitnase, V'yitadar, V'yitale, V'yitalal, Shmei D'Kudisha, B'richu, V'elamin, K'ol, B'irchata, V'shirata, K'ushbechata, V'nechamata, Damin Ron be Alma, Vimaru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, the Chaim Alenu, the Alko Yisrael, Vimaru, Amen. O se Shalom, Vimramav, Huya se Shalom, Alenu, the Alko Yisrael, the Alko Yosve Tevel, Vimaru, Amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort the bereaved among us, and we say together, Amen. We'll join a quickly in a closing song just to point out in your handouts if you didn't get them. On Sunday morning at about 10 o'clock, we're having a parent uh, discussion in our religious school, but anybody is welcome, about the December dilemma and the challenges sometimes of faith families or interfaith extended families, particularly at this time of year. So come join us in the library. We'll join with Phil in a quick closing song. <laughs> Say shalom bim Roma, who ya say shalom Aleinu. Oh say shalom bim Roma, who ya say shalom Aleinu. Ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom Aleinu. Me alko Israel, ya say shalom. Ya se shalom, shalom aleinu ve'alko Yisrael. Shabbat shalom and Hanukkah Sameach. I believe there are sufganiyot waiting for you in the oneg if they haven't eaten them all yet. <laughs> You'll hear about it. I will. I know. I My went back and forth. My father passed away on the last uh, candle of Hanukkah. Yes. So today.